Hey internet, it's me. Doka in my car. I talk about mental health and whatever I want. Um, I am not going to drive around in this video because that is not safe. I had my third uh, session um, with uh, K infusion therapy. Um, but I do want to talk about this Ethan versus Crowder debate because there's something I've noticed that nobody's talking about. Is debate online the new version of I challenge you to a duel? That's really what it seems like. If you watch that debate, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Ethan Klein from H3 Podcast challenged or accepted a challenge or challenged, I don't know. This guy named Crowder, I forgot his name, Stephen Crowder, Steve Crowder. He is a, I don't know if he's conservative, Republican, independent. He's conservative leaning. And he became a meme because he would go to college campuses. He even went to my college campus. He would set up a change my mind table and have college students try to change his mind on certain topics and he would edit it to make the college students look dumb and so he became a meme um and he continues to this day to have a podcast that people watch entertain it's entertaining it's like people who watch kevin samuels and i don't think most people who watch kevin samuels like agrees with everything he says and everything he does same with tucker carlson i think people just enjoy watching i don't want to call them stupid but i think people just enjoy watching something controversial um and i think this crowder guy uh tries to be controversial um so ethan is progressive leaning uh, progressive i don't even want to say left leaning he he's not left leaning like what americans think is left is like actually center so actually ethan klein is a moderate he's a cent he's on center and this crowder guy leans conservative and they were going to debate about whether or not you should listen to the cdc without question or something like that well, Crowder made a comment somewhere that Ethan is going to be uh, really easy. He's going to be an easy person to defeat and debate. And then Crowder comes on Ethan's show. Ethan says, actually, I agree with you. I'm not a debater. I'm not good at debating. So let's let me actually bring somebody who I agree with <laughs> uh, on the subjects and um and you can debate him. And it's this guy named Sam. I don't know who Sam is. Um, but apparently he also likes to debate. Um, but as a progressive. And then lots of talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Steve Crowder. <laughs> ironically, he wears a t-shirt that says fight like hell. And he has like gun straps on his shoulder. And he like locks off. So everyone's like, oh my gosh, you run away. Like. Like, you got your tail in between your legs. All of this to say, the energy and the language used around this debate is the same energy and language you would use if you were talking about guys fighting. Like, if the guys were supposed to meet each other outside after school to, to fight, like, fist fight to settle a disagreement, and then one of them wimps out, okay? We're going to call him a wimp. We're going to call him all kinds of things gendered women right even in the in the podcast with crowder crowder says at the 16 minute and 11 second mark he describes sam he says i've never met m more of a woman that's how he describes sam i don't know if he's talking about sam or Ethan. i think he's talking about sam he says, I, I've never met more of a woman. People calling him coward. People calling him P-word. People calling Crowder. Calling, you know. Um, and uh, 
I'm not let, like let this is not a video about talking about um this idea we have of of you using women to describe men that we see as weak. I'm not even going to talk about that. I don't have the range to fully discuss that. What I want to talk about is why is a debate treated this way? A debate is supposed to bring out the best of us. It's supposed to bring up our intellect. It's supposed to expand our knowledge horizon. It's supposed to help us come to an understanding or uh, just support our claim, support our claim. A debate is supposed to be for the mind, it's supposed to enrich us, the audience. We, the audience, are supposed to be enriched and better for watching this debate. That is not what a duel is for. A duel is for settling, you know, just who is the better man, okay? And you, you agree to the duel, you go to the duel, you're you're a man that you even went to the duel you're a man that you engaged in the duel and whoever wins at least you both participated in the duel so you're both men you're manly men of stature you're gentlemen you're men of society same with fights i don't know where where you grew up in the world or in the united states there are a lot of different places where men settle things with a fight like Let's just fight. Let's just bring out our fist. Fight fair and square. Don't bring a knife. Don't bring a gun. Let's use our fist. Or if it's a knife fight, okay, don't bring a gun to the knife fight. Or if, maybe if it's a gun, whatever. Let's fight fair and square. And it's almost like it doesn't matter who wins. I mean, whoever wins is the most dominant man. But the fact that you two participated makes you both somehow honorable men. A debate is not supposed to be this. A debate is supposed to be enriching us mentally. But these guys have turned it into like the modern day version of a duel or fight. And it's specifically men. It's a man thing. Because if women were a part of this debate, I don't think Crowder would say I've never met more of a woman and try to say that as an insult, right? Like, because a woman would say, yes, yeah, I am a woman. What? Right? This is like, a, it's like male, I don't know. It's interesting. It's like in this, in this 21st century where and and the stage right in the United States where violence, physical violence is is supposed to not be tolerated in in normal society. We have now gone to I'm not even gonna say intellect, because it's not about who's the smartest or most intellectual, it's about who has the better tongue. We have come to who has the most wits about them? Who is the funniest, wittiest, sharpest? These characteristics. And I, I did say it's a man thing. I don't think it's a man thing, actually. I mean, when it's between men, they make it a man thing. And it does really feel like you guys didn't want to debate to learn. You you didn't want to debate to enrich us. You wanted to debate to measure whose PP is bigger. Okay? That's what you wanted. But now that I think about it, girls do it too. Women do it too. Okay? I I am subscribed to Parodies. Okay? If you don't know who that is, he... He does, he does this. It's a it's a who has the better comeback. Comebacks, clapbacks. Who who won the clapback? Twitter, Cardi B and so and so going back and forth. Who won? Who won? I guess I mean the these men are disguising their fight 
by calling it a debate, okay? That makes it sound like, <laughs> I'm a man of class, right? Meanwhile, if you're fighting Cardi B on Twitter, it's just a Twitter fight. You call it what it is. Well, I want people to start calling this debate what it is. It's dudes fighting, okay? It's a tale as old as time. I think it's interesting that nobody that doesn't that doesn't strike anybody like nobody nobody cares or thought about it or I don't know. As for who won, nobody won. It wasn't a debate, okay? Crowder was insulting everybody left and right, whining, crying like a baby. Uh Ethan, uh that's just not how you do things. You you don't agree to a debate and then do a little switcheroo um i get i get it i get that well crowder is is known for surprise let me debate you so we did it to him i get it. i get the joke to me that debate is just a gag it's a it's an h3 podcast gag it's a joke it's a like every other episode there are gags there are skits there are bits that's what it was to me so i mean i don't I don't view Ethan any less because I, I really view it as like it's a goof, it's a gag, it's a gaff, it's a it's a hoot and a holler. Um I I it's not to be taken seriously. Um Crowder is somebody who seems to want us to take him seriously or he takes himself seriously, so it makes him look bad because he didn't perform in a serious manner. He <laughs> And he performed in a way that he would have made fun of anybody else if he did that. Um, and then I don't know who the Sam guy is. I don't know who I don't know who he is. I don't. I, don't um, I would love to. I would have really loved to have heard a debate. I would like to know why does Sam Crowder want to debate him? If this Sam guy is like the best progressive debater on social media, why wouldn't you want to debate him? Like Lauren Chen, she's a she is conservative, okay? Um, I don't like that girl, woman. I don't like her. I don't like that person. Um, but she says she doesn't debate progressives because she honestly doesn't care. Okay, good for you. Like we know. We we know that's the thing about conservatives. We know you don't care. That's why that's why whenever a conservative wants to debate I don't really believe them because it's like, since when do you actually care? It, you will be very hard pressed to find a conservative who actually cares about the issues. Um, Lauren Chen says, I don't debate because I don't care. Okay, got it. But Crowder is somebody who supposedly cares enough to debate. Why wouldn't you want to debate the best person? Like the person who disagrees with you, um, and he's the best debater at it, why wouldn't you want to debate him? Why would you instead just call him names and like refer, call him a woman? Like that's supposed to be derogatory. Like, why would you do, I like to me, I already didn't like Crowder. I already kind of thought this guy is a, uh, I, I, I already saw him as a wuss. Like I already saw him as somebody who's trying to overcompensate for something. But yeah, I mean, yeah, this, uh, this podcast, made him look worse even worse to me because i i don't understand why why was he so triggered by sam like i understand like this wasn't a fair fight i didn't know sam was going to be there this was an ambush got it but he, he was like really triggered he was really triggered calling him an idiot saying nobody watches you nobody cares about you but why do you like why do you have your notifications on for him like why why do you have your google alerts on for sam you know it's it's weird um uh it just it, it gave me more of a reason to dislike crowder but um yeah i'm rambling at this point like i said i am uh i just had my uh k infusion session if you want to know how my k uh therapy treatments are going subscribe obviously this is what it looks like after you do one <laughs> um i am just gonna sit here okay and wait for my person to drive me uh, back but those are my thoughts i wanted to share because nobody's talking about it let me know your thoughts below let me know if i should just delete this if because it's too embarrassing i don't know Till next time much love much luck
Peace out.